papa, papa, let's see ha. Huh? Papa. Hmm. Welcome back to my channel. As you saw yesterday, I landed super early in San Francisco and just got dim sum with my family, a nice little dinner, and I literally knocked out so quickly. The reason why I'm back is because I'm actually flying out with my family to Korea this Friday. And this has been our annual trip for the last eight to nine years now. I'm just gonna do a quick little get ready with me and chat to you guys a little bit more about this trip and how I'm prepping for it. I got these clips from my good friend, Julie. Aren't they so cute? I'm just gonna use them to clip up my hair. <laughs> really cute. I have been going to Korea since 2003. It's because there was a virus in Hong Kong at the time when I was there. And the first place my mom thought of to go to was Seoul. I always tell her now, mom, it's super popular to go to Korea. Everyone's doing it. And she's like, I'm a trendsetter. Yes, you are, mom. I mean, it's one of our favorite places to go to. It's just so nostalgic for me and my brother. He also loved Korea so much. He took three years of Korean in high school. So it's nice to have him around when we go now because he actually is very helpful. He's actually going there for college for three months in September, which I'm super excited for him. We're going to check out the school that he's gonna go to. We usually just go and we eat a lot as a family. And my mom, she loves getting facials. So I've already planned a lot of different beauty treatments with her. My mom is going to be living out her dream and seeing the two pandas in Everland. I also plan on going to Nami Island. Not a lot of things to do there, but it's, it is quite exciting because there's like cute little street foods, there are little stores. Maybe this year I can convince her to go zip lining with me because you can actually zip line down to Nami Island or I'll just make Isa go with me because she's actually joining me in the middle of the trip, which will be super exciting. I'm excited to show you guys some of the pieces that I picked out for this trip. I'm gonna do an unboxing later and I'm also going to show you guys what I usually pack. It's time for the unboxing. Let's start with my favorite, Aritzia. So yeah, let's see. They always have the cutest packaging. Okay, let's open the first bag. This really nice, cute cardigan, so soft. And then there's this really cute skirt. Oh my god, I love it. And then I got this really cute hoodie. Perfect for plane rides or just throwing on top of any tank top. And then this pretty top with a rose in the middle. I feel like these tops always remind me of the 90s. Oh yeah, this bag only consists of one thing. It's this jacket that I got. The color is a little crazy. I think it'll be cute and it's super warm. And then last bag. This really pretty flowy dress. I love, I love skirts. They're my favorite pieces to wear. I have never owned a trench coat. I finally got one. And I love this fit because it's more boxy and straight, which is perfect for my body type. Now, I have this cute little package from Find Me Now. They have the cutest pieces. And they have this little note. Dear Allison, we can't wait for you to style some of our pieces. Oh, I picked these out for Lunar New Year but I think I can still style this with an Asian flair. Yeah, now it's time for lunch. I will see you guys when I get there. Thank you. Yum. bacon is all crispy I am going to wait for the water to boil and the pasta is in there I'm gonna start making the sauce the reason why I'm making pasta tonight is because my mom's a wonderful cook but my family they do not know how to make pasta 
And I'm not a, an amazing pasta maker either, but they don't eat pasta unless I'm home, <laughs> which is why my mom requested me to make vodka pasta tonight. It's honestly my go-to dish. It's just so easy to make, and who doesn't like bacon and pasta? Good morning, guys. I just realized that last night after I made pasta, I literally just started planning with my mom the whole night and just knocked out. Thank you so much. The biggest tip that I have for packing for Korea is to just remember to bring an empty suitcase. I'm flying Korea Air and they allow two check-ins, so I always fill up one suitcase. The other one, I put a mini carry-on inside and I fill up the mini carry-on. That way I have a full empty suitcase for just when I go shopping. Another thing is that I think planning out your outfits make it much easier than just picking out specific pieces and throwing it into your suitcase, especially if you plan on taking pictures. It makes my life easier and I feel like my outfits are more polished because I actually had time to think through it. We just got home from dinner from Tasty Sichuan and that was so delicious. I got home and I was just trying on so many different outfits and my room is a mess. But Jacqueline is leaving now and I wanted to show you guys something that she made me. Can you guess from the shadow? Probably not. Dun dun! Oh, it's a Miffy incense holder. Today is going to be my last day in SF and I'm flying out to Korea tomorrow. I just made myself a cup of coffee and I am going to finish editing my prepping video and then I have some last minute 
packing to do and then after that I have core power for the last day today before I go on this trip so for now I definitely have to not rush editing but I have to hop on it and finish it up Here are all the snacks packed into a little Ziploc bag so it's easier for us to take it out and eat on the plane. 